What is up peeps, this is following TCG and I'd like to welcome you back to another YouTube video and today we have Pack a Match. This video was supposed to be out yesterday, I completely forgot I do Pack a Match on a Monday. Um, so I'm just sorry about that, I did release a decklist rather than releasing a Pack a Match episode so I thought uh, that we should release a Pack a Match episode today. So with that said we are going to be opening a Burning Shadows pack to see what we're going to be using today and if you don't know the rules just to basically cover it because I have covered it in the videos before we have to open a pack and the rare that we get in this pack we have to play four of and make a deck around so that's the basic rules um, and as I said regardless of what it is we have to play four of it so with that said Let's see what we pull from this Burning Shadows pack and see what we have to make our deck around today. I'm still not certain on this series just yet because, again, the odds of you pulling something actually viable are quite unlikely. And, you know, the game can be quite hard to... Whoa! Okay! I guess we're playing a lock deck or some sort of mill deck. Oh, full up Plumeria! Oh, we are... I don't, know, I don't know how to react right now. I didn't expect that. I thought it was just going to be some crappy cards. But hey, we're going to be playing a deck that uses Plumeria. And I know the one, the first thing that... Not Val Plume. Oh, yeah. Duh. Um, the first thing that comes to mind... We're going to have to play four Plumeria. Um, is Sylveon. But I don't have any Sylveon. So we have to get creative. Uh, let's see what we could do. We could do a... We need a, we need a, we need a deck that can tank. Or at least survive for the very... I flip a coin if heads, put your opponent's active, I want to call touch into the hand opponent's hand. Ah, uh, it's cool, but it's not reliable. Um, usually we want to find something tanky, something that's like a basic, um, ideally. Um, we could go down the the, 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 the coin flip route, the defense call route. Um, am I spelling defense right? Yes, the defense call route, where we play sand fruit and alone and geodude. And we do defense call. And then what we can do is play Victini. Um, and then mill that way. But we won't be able to get our cards to our hand pretty much any in every turn. So we could do Genesect and then go for the Stevens Resolve. I don't think I've got much Stevens Resolve though. I think I only have what, like two? Yeah, so Stevens Resolve is kind of weak. We could do we could do our Diaga Mill, which uh, was quite fun to make. Let's go for the Diagamil deck. That was really fun. And we're throwing a Genesect. Um, well, tell a lie. We could throw, instead of Dialga, we, instead of that, we could do Steelix. I know that was seeing a bit of play. Um, we only have one. I guess we can do that. And then we do um, Genesect. Because Genesect can take two Metal Frying Pans, which means it's got a really high HP count, which is obviously great, right? So, we're going to throw a metal frying pan, that's for certain. Uh, metal frying pan, so we're going to throw four of those in there, that's going to be critical. Um, stop being stupid, there we go. Uh, and we're going to throw a cargo. I think that's what we're going to do. So we're going to be building our good old um, Diaga GL decks, uh, Diaga GX mill deck, which if you haven't seen by the way, I'll leave an annotation and hopefully I do remember to do that. Um, in the top right hand side where you actually get to check out the Diaga uh, GX mill deck that I made. This one I'm going to be making from scratch. It is still the Diaga Jill, uh, Diaga Jill the Diaga GX mill deck that um, I made before. Uh, I'm trying to think. But this is going to be a, a, a completely fresh deck. I've, I've forgotten that, that deck completely and how it was constructed. So I think this should be a bit different. Um, Thinking about it, we could choice helmet. No, that choice helmet's pointless. Um, I'm just trying to think now what we can play with. I guess we'll play with some Cynthia's, right? I don't know yet. Let's let's just see what we're going to roll with here. Judge is definitely something we want to play. Um, so we, we'll play two of you. We'll do that for certain. We want the crushing hammer, obviously. The crushing hammer is like the big the big boy. Let's do that. And Enhanced Hammer will play two of. I mean, we're doing a lot of energy discard anyway, thanks to the four Plumeria we have to play with the full art we pulled. Um, and then we can do... Huh. Think, think, think. We may need some switches further on down the line in case we get caught out in the active. So let's just throw a couple switches in there. Let's do that. Uh, no, I don't want the old school. Let's get let's get the new switch. There we go. Okay, so we're throwing switches in there. Uh, Guzma's going to be a big deal. So we need four Guzmas. Let's do that. Um, 
What item cards can we play that is going to be extra valuable to us? Counter catcher could work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Counter catcher could be a fun little tech, I guess. Acrobike, eh. Could work with the Macargos, but I'm not really keen on that. Field blower. We'll throw one of you in there. Um, we also need our ultra balls and stuff, and nest balls is going to be pretty critical, if I'm right, considering most of these are basics. Um... Power pad, yeah. Oh, we do need a resource management around Guru, that's for certain. So we'll get you in there. We'll get two of you just in case it's an awkward prize situation. Speaking of prizes, Gladian could be a good little thing to throw in there. So let's let's throw Gladian in there, which we have a full art of. Haha. <laughs> uh, so many full arts, beautiful. Um, Lusamine, I know there's the Lusamine loop that we can take advantage of. So we can throw two of those. We get both of the full arts in there. That'd be fun. Um, this is a very pretty deck. I'm kind of happy with how beautiful this deck is turning out. Uh, Ultra Ball, obviously. Now, is there any stadiums that benefits... Um, metal type? I don't think there is. Or Prism Star Stadiums. Let's just... I know there's a stadiums that remove weakness, but we've got Metal Frying Pan. Um, I don't think there's anything... Oh, Lysander Labs. Although that could hurt us more than anything. Mount Coronet's not really viable... Sky Pillar. We need something that can... See, nothing this. No, we're not really relying on that. We could Potown, but then we're not looking to deal damage. We need something that can counter Shrine. Um, Shrine's going to be a big deal. So I guess we'll play two Lysander Labs and two Field Blowers to cover the four Shrine. That's what I'm thinking, right? Um, there's probably something I'm really forgetting. Uh, I know there's some supporters like Skull Grunt and stuff that we can play. And Mars. Mars is a good draw supporter, so we'll play Mars here. Uh, I think it's draw two. Yeah, so Mars will be our, our, our main draw supporter, effectively speaking. Can work very well with Macargo. Um, and Cynthia, just for hand refreshes if we don't really get what we want. And I think we're going to have to cut down, obviously. We're going to play eight metal energy, I think, is going to be the one we're looking to do here. So we'll get the secret rare and we'll get these. I know, I know, I know. We're going to have to cut down here. Um, uh, let's just get this one. No, no, let's get the old school metal energy. Yeah, good stuff. So we're going to have to cut down by six cards, which is kind of scary. So I think we're going to go down by one Oranguru. I wanted to bring the Steelix in because I thought we were going to bring play a Ditto, but then now we're going we're gonna to cut that Steelix. Uh, I guess we'll cut down to one Lysander Labs because we kind of need our, our thingy my bobs. That makes sense. That didn't make sense. Um, I would cut down the Primarias, but the rule is the rule. We have to play four. Um, let's see. Huh. Maybe enhance hammer down to one. Oh, I don't know, man. Yeah, I think yeah, I think we'll enhance hammer one because we've got Plumeria to discard anyway. Um, and I guess we drop a Mars to three, right? Or we drop a Judge. Let's, let's do that. So this this is the deck. Um, oh, don't know how I feel about it. Don't know how I feel about it. But this is the point, right? We need to make it, it uh, in quick succession. Um, and kind of just think and go, you know. What would be a good idea is if we do a timer. That would be cool. So let me know your thoughts on that. Should I do a timer in it where I have a certain time limit to build a deck? Um, but I'm not really that good at speed building. So I probably will fail a few times before I, I, I even get um, get there. But um, there's probably uh, one thing you'll realize. And this is great for you to suggest in the comments. Is that you'll realize that I will often um, forget something that's kind of obvious. And like some, I'm thinking like... I've got Guzmas. I was about to say, I thought I, thought I forgot Guzmas. But like, sometimes I just forget things. I'm like, oh, how could I forget that? Because obviously I'm building quickly and I'm trying to think quickly and on my feet um, to build this deck in quick succession. Um, and uh, sometimes I will forget things. And pretty much most of the times, if not all times, I'll forget something cool. Um, but yeah, let's uh, let's play this Dialga uh, mill deck and see what we do. I wanted to play eight because I wanted to make sure that we, you know, find our energies quite well and we don't have these weird starts where we just don't have an energy and we're looking for an energy and we're just not doing what we want but look at his hand oh my god full art cynthia full art guzma full art oh, it's beautiful it's beautiful it's great to know that i have either I, I that i've packed these or got them from verses which is really cool you know um but that was a beautiful looking hand <laughs> speaking of we've got a much better hand here we're gonna get the dialga out now and um so if you don't know why i'm playing dialga we're using its overclock attack to draw until we have six cards in our hand um, and we have things like Nest Balls, Ultra Balls to thin our hand down. Plumeria will thin our hand down. So we have a lot of hand thinners um, where we can just guarantee that we are drawing what we want most most turns. Um, 
and the Macargo obviously allows us to top deck so we can top deck what we want and overclock, right? That's the idea behind the deck. Um, and I've done it before, of course, with Diaga Mill. And I don't remember if I did it with if I did it with Macargo. If Macargo was out then, I, I'm pretty sure I did. If not, I probably would have done it with Mallow or something, but I'm confident I did it with Macargo. Right, so this is obviously Magnazone, some weird steel Magnazone deck. Is it like Magnazone box where it's just a bunch of steel Pokemon? It Oh, okay. So they're going for the... Oh, this is bad. We definitely need a Genesect because a Genesect can protect us from a one-hit KO from this thing. Um, this is really bad. And we're definitely going to need our Field Blowers and our Lysander Labs here because Mount Coronet is what makes this deck function. If you take down Mount Coronet, then the deck really uh, sticks. Or get stuck is the one I should say. Um, so, yeah. How are we going to play this? I think we bench another Dialga so we at least have a bench Pokemon. Um, and then we Cynthia. I don't want to Mars just yet. I really want to discard the energy off that right right away. So, And the Oranguru we need to keep in deck till later. We don't want that getting knocked out early. So, let's see what we pull. Uh, nothing really good, unfortunately. We could... Ultra Ball away to Team Skull Grunt, which sounds good. And the Custom Catcher and get a a Slugma down, which would be great. And uh, then we just... Oh, I didn't put Rescue Stretch, which could be quite bad. So we're going to Overclock now and draw. That's good. So we get the Metal Frying Pan to attach to this Dialga, which is good news. Um, and then we get, a, we get a... Yeah, we get him a Cargo next turn. And then we can Mars and then guarantee a Crushing Hammer. So we can discard the energy in play. Depending on what we top deck though. Because if we top deck a Plumeria, that could be more reliable than a Crushing Hammer. Uh, in this particular list. So let's see how it goes. But we do have the Frying Pan, which is good news. Uh, they are attaching and getting dangerously close to um, attacking us and dealing some damage. So, okay. Let's get rid of... We're going to have to play the Nest Ball... Mm. I'm going to get rid of the Genesect, which I know I said I needed, but I think we need to get my cargos out. And I'm going to get rid of the Cynthia and the Genesect. I think that feels really bad, but... Oh, we only got one Macargo. Oh, no, we've prized the Macargo. Awful, awful. And now that, that Nest Ball was completely pointless. Oh, well, win some, lose some. Am I right? Okay, let's get the Crushing Hammer. Fingers crossed this one hits head, because that's going to be vital. Uh, Animal Mars and, you know, hopefully... Get rid of something valuable like a rare candy or oh we got rid of the Volkner and that could have been really really good so fingers crossed we just discarded the one thing they needed and we got the heads good stuff yeah so fingers crossed we discarded the one thing they needed uh and then we overclocked for five good stuff so a fresh hand let's see what we got going on some more crushing hammers more mars good stuff uh and we got judge as well which could really impact this deck because if they don't get the magna zone out um and we shrink their hands down and reducing the odds of them actually getting Magnazone. So, oh, they're attaching there as well. That's interesting. Now, what we can do for certain, which, well, I think we have to do now this turn. Are they going to find energy, huh? Wow, that could be dangerous. <laughs> um, because all we got to do, if you if they find a bunch of energy in their hand, we can team Skull Grunt them, and that would that would cause problems. Uh, we do need the Field Blower though. That Mount Coronet is uh, seriously an issue. So if they go for Searching Magnet, which they do, um, so we know there's only one card in their hand that is not an energy. The rest of their hand is energy, judging by that. So we know that judging right now is, is bad because just it's just energy in their hand right now. Okay, let's Crushing Hammer. Good. Am I going to get rid of the one on the U? Yeah. Um, and now if we Mars, odds are we are just going to... You know, discard the energy in the hand. Uh, so that's fine. Um, and I think we grab a field blower and get rid of the Mount Coronet. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to, yeah, we're going to Mars now. So Mars is looking to be quite useful, which is good. So we're going to play the Mars. Uh, and luckily we got an energy off that as well. So we can actually use our overclock this turn. So let's field blower. We're going to field blower the, to be fair, the metal frying pans don't make that big a deal, but we'll, we'll throw these off for now. And uh, we'll go for another overclock for just one. So 
So we're not actually using the deck the way it's meant to be used. We're supposed to top deck with Makargo and Overclock so we get the cards we want the next turn. Similar to Sylveon's attack where you just get any free cards into your hand, right? You, you prepare for the turn ahead. So they go for another Searching Magnet. Now, did we discard the energy? I don't know what we discarded there. But uh, a Team Skull Grant would be really valuable right now. And a Judge is like the worst thing to play. So we're, we're definitely not playing Judge. <laughs> That's a certain. And it looks like we have to play probably a Guzma this turn. And then Makargo. Yeah, because we don't want to Judge them. Their hand is just... Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to Guzma into one of these things for now. And... For, I guess we throw another Diago down and just attach an energy, right? What's our situation looking? Okay, so we, we might have to Ranguru next turn. Well, what we are going to do is we are going to Macargo for a Plumeria, I think. Yeah, Macargo for a Plumeria, so at least we get a guaranteed energy discard next turn, which is good. So let's overclock here and get that for next turn. Let's see what else we pull from it. Lysander Lab as well, so we can shut their... Um, Mount Coronet down if they do get it back out. But uh, I'm assuming their hand is just full. Oh, we should have got Skull Grunt. Bad, bad misplay. Whoopsie. We should have got Skull Grunt because their hand is full of energy. I know that for certain. They just need to get mag. And what they're doing is kind of smart because if they get all the energy out of their deck, they're more likely to top deck into what they want, uh, like a Rare Candy or a Cynthia or. You know, anything down that line. And they are just going to start manually attaching. So we got we got to take this thing down uh, ASAP. So I think we are going to Plumeria this, I think. That seems good. Uh, Nespa won't do anything for us. That last bench bot is definitely for Oranguru. Okay, we're going to Plumeria. And we're going to discard an energy off. Uh, let's get rid of the Nespa and the... Hmm... Ultra Ball, because the Judge can still come in handy. So, let's get rid of you. Good stuff, good stuff. I'm going to top deck a Skull Grunt. Do we have it, or is it prized? It's prized, ouch. Ouch, indeed. Uh, we could get another Plumeria, or a Mars. A Mars could be good. Yeah, we'll do a Mars, because again, the odds of them, us discarding energy from their hand next turn is quite high. So, let's, let's do that again, go for another Overclock. Uh, and the judge is also very critical because it stops us from decking out uh, without using resource management. So we don't have to rely on the Oranguru right away once we start decking things out. So uh, that's also pretty good. Um, they're going to play Guzma of their own. That's fine. We've got our own Guzmas to work with. Um, okay. So are they going to... Do they have the Magna Zone? Is that what they're saying? No, they got a DCE. Okay. Um, so they're going to try and attack into that. That is fine by me. In fact, a Lusamine would, a Lusamine, the Plumeria would be pretty cool there. Oh, we got a switch. Um, okay, the Mars is not a good idea now. What a good, I a good idea is playing the Guzma just to get out of the active. But then, how are we top decking and drawing? Um, we still know they're dead drawing. So we don't want to judge them at all. Okay. I don't mind them taking out the Slugma, to be fair. Okay, this is what we're going to do. We're going to smooth over for an Enhanced Hammer. No, we're not. <laughs> we're going to smooth over for a Crushing Hammer. That's the problem with only playing one. Uh, we're going to try our best to get rid of that DCE. That's what we're going to like try and do. Um, with the Crushing Hammer. So, fingers crossed we achieve that. Okay, we've got another energy down. Heads? Yeah, good stuff. Let's get rid of you. So, again, we're just shutting them down bit by bit. And we can... I'm trying to think of card count. Yeah, we're going to play this. And then we're going we're gonna to bench the Oranguru just so we can get a top deck now. Although, should I just play the double switch just so we can use Overclock? Do we need to use Overclock now, though? One, two, three, four, five, six. We don't really need to, so... I think here we just pass. I mean, a play overclock as if that would do anything. Ha ha! Nothing. No, we'll, we'll do that because I'm just, I'm super scared of the Oranguru getting taken out. Um, really early on. I, I want to just bench it when I need it, not bench it preemptively and allow it to be Guzman up and take, taken out somehow. That's what like 
I don't want happening. Um, but we are going to have to start using resource management soon. Uh, what's my deck looking like? I need an energy, though, before I do that, right? Okay, so we are going to... Hmm. I was going to say Guzma and then Lusamine, but you can't. <laughs> so I think we Lusamine for a Plumeria. Okay, we definitely have more energy. Like, that's for certain. Okay, I'm going to eventually run Guru. I'm going to play the switch. I need to thin my hand down so I can top deck from this Macargo here, right? So we're going to play the Lusamine and we're going to get a Plumeria and Team Skulk run. That's what I want. So let's do that. And then, unfortunately, we have to play the Lysander lap. And uh, that's just where we're at. So we, we're shutting down our own our own tool cards. Oh, no, I didn't do the Macargo. That's fine. We got a Crushing Hammer anyway. That's actually what I would have gotten. So that's okay. Um, uh, that was quite immature of me. But we've got Crushing Hammer, Plumeria, Skull Grunt. We have a lot of energy discard available now. So that's good. Um, yeah, that's pretty good. So I'm just looking at a timer now. Because usually mill decks go down to the timer. So... Mm, that's scary. Okay, so they, they are now pretty much just one step away from uh, a KO. So we need to hit the Crushing Hammer, like, ASAP. Like, ASAP. So let's Crushing Hammer and see if we hit it. We don't. Do you know what? Sometimes that's just going to happen. A Plumeria would be really useful right now. Um, we could Guzma. But I think a Plumeria is, like, a must-do right now. So let's get rid of the... Guzma and Judge. Judge has been sitting there. Let's just do that and we'll get rid of the energy here. So we need to know that, again, they have one energy attachment off getting what they want. Let's get a... I realized I didn't throw Max Potion in this deck. <laughs> Whoops. We're going to get an energy and Guzma and resource management next turn. So that's what we're going to do. So let's overclock now into what we want. And then we can just, you know, throw one of these stack attacker GXs up front and, uh, yeah, use uh, resource management, bring these crushing hammers back into the deck. Um, yeah, I think Crushing Hammer and... Two Crushing Hammers and a Field Blower seems right. Please don't tell me you have the Magna Zone ready. That would uh, just destroy everything. That would absolutely wreck everything. Although, they haven't got... Are oh, they going to Lele? Okay. Okay. That's kind of sad. But, I mean, eventually they would have drawn out of it, right? <laughs> eventually. Okay, so they're going to attach. They're probably going to drop the Lele. Go for, like, a Cynthia or a Lily. I mean, this would be a decent Lily turn because they only have one card in their hand. So, I think Lily would be good here. But let's see what they grab off the Lele. Maybe they go for their own Judge, but that would be a bit too risky. You, you should never play Judge in a Stage 2 deck. Not in my personal opinion. <laughs> okay, Cynthia. All right, not too shocked there. So, yeah, they are going to do that. And the, 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 the dream turn would be Rare Candy, Magnazone, Mount Coronet, you know? That would be their, their dream hand, sorry. And it's very probable, considering we've thrown a lot of energy away. So, they are just going to start getting their good resources, like, real soon, you know? Um, okay, thank God. Thank God, thank God. Okay, now it's time for a bit of... Uh, what did we top deck from that Macargo? I forgot an energy, right? Um, yeah, we're going to do some resource management this turn. Yeah, for sure. So let's bring you up and resource management into some... We can do a Macargo top deck as well, which is good. This It works out very well that way. I think we top deck a Cynthia. So that way we can just shuffle draw into some new stuff. Well... A field blower could be pretty good. I'm just thinking because I've got Plumerias in my hand, right? Um, so we can discard energy and we're going to need to next turn for certain. So yeah, we'll top deck a field blower here. So in case they get, because my biggest fear is that they get a, we've got the field blower back, which is good. So we don't need to worry too much there. Yeah. My biggest fear is that they get the, we just get free crushing cameras. We just need to discard energy like fast. Um, yeah. Biggest fear is that they get themselves a Mount Coronet. I mean, they will have a way to explode this turn, unfortunately. That's just where we're at. Um, and blow one of our Pokemon up. Obviously, a Dialga. Um, but yeah, I think... 
I just really don't want them getting a Mount Coronet out and bringing all the energy back. Like, that's where the this deck is going to lose against this. So, like, Mount Coronet would be kind of scary. And they've only got one in the discard pile, so the odds of them getting one are quite high. So, uh, I'm, I'm expecting them to get one this turn. Okay, so they got the Magnet Zone. Huh? No! Scary. Scary. Don't like it. Don't like it. I don't like it. Um, that's very scary. And they got the Beast Energy. Oi, look at you, huh? Look at you. Okay, <whistles> fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Thank God, that's what I meant to say. Um, yeah, we're plumerying like now. Like, for, for, for certain. Like, no joke, we're going to plumeria and we're going to get rid of uh, probably another plumeria <laughs> and a Gladian and get rid of that beast energy. Ba -da -da -da. I got a text. Uh, let's resource management again, but let's top deck a crushing hammer. And uh, Oranguri resource management again. And we'll bring back probably a Plumeria. Considering we've used quite a few now. Uh, a Mar uh, Mars. Items would be better. So another Crushing Hammer and a... I guess Mars would be good. I guess Mars would be quite reliable. So let's do that. Yeah, let's do that. So we're going to do that. And uh, we can hopefully... Again, holding the Field Blower... And we can bring these field blowers back into the deck thanks to our Ranguru, so we can reuse these and just stop Mount Coronet. Because again, I'm super petrified of Mount Coronet with it being able to recover the energy that they are losing. So, uh, just hoping that's not the case. And considering they've ultra balled their hand down and they're probably going to get something useless because they have no space and they've got all the evolutions they need, I'm assuming that one card in their hand is either a draw supporter or they are dead drawing again, which I hope is the case. So, fingers crossed they have nothing else to work with and they just pass. I got Titan Lizer. Ah, I knew it! Knew it! I knew they would have something. Ah, I knew it. Um, but they can't Guzma. So, that's, like, fantastic. And this is, like, our, we need to, like, yeah, we need to pretty much attack now. Like, Crushing Hammer, get rid of some energies. Damn it! Didn't work. Um, fingers crossed that we get one. And off the Skull Grunt, that's, it looks like that's where we're at. Um, yeah, we're going to have to Skull Grunt here and just go down that road. So, no. Oh, my God. That is an awful hand for them. That is an awful hand for them. No Mount Coronet for them, baby. Okay, let's top deck another Crushing Hammer. Uh, or should we top deck a Plumeria? No. No. Crushing Hammer. Because I don't want to discard the Field Blower, right? That Field Blower is critical. Um, although, tell a lie, I could have just resource management one in. Stupid. Okay, let's resource management a Crushing Hammer back, a Mars back, and I guess it's a Plumeria back, right? Or a Skull Grunt. A Skull Grunt could still be useful. Well, no, because if they get any energy in their hand, they're probably going to throw it on the board immediately. A Cynthia would be good, because we could... Draw... Although we're pretty much in the right... right. We've got the right process now. Uh, Guzma? Yeah, Guzma, Guzma, Guzma. There we go, that came to mind. Let's get Guzma back so we can still trap things up front. And uh, keep her going, keep her going. So their hand was very bad. It was Rare Candy, Rare Candy, Ultra Ball, Ultra Ball, Lele, which they can't play any of. They can thin with the Ultra Ball. Um, but other than that, you know, it's like, what are you going to do? So Ultra Space of all things, okay. I mean, I don't really need to feel blow that away. That's not problematic. Um... But right now, I know the hand is just weak as hell. So they're probably thinning, 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 the thinning. <laughs> no, they're probably thinning to guarantee the top deck next turn. So in that case, we could judge them, but then mm, the hand is already dead. So judging them is, you know, it's only going to increase their hand size. So but they're actually close to decking out as well, and they don't have any recovery. So we could actually go, uh, you know, be achieving deck out here, which would be really fascinating. Okay, 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 donkey. Let's get rid of... Damn it! Just... Ah, these are critical turns we're missing here, man. Okay, let's uh, let's move over for another Crushing Hammer. <laughs> um, this is a weird loop we're in. A very weird loop we're in. Um, but... Uh, I mean, it's interesting, right? <laughs> it's an interesting loop, that's for certain. And we're just slowly bringing stuff back in. So we've got another... I guess Team Skullgrunt could be really valuable here now. I know I said they would throw the energy down, but just in case they take a turn where they don't, I guess we could just try and do this Team Skullgrunt. 
because they could be a bit more reserved in their hand and be like, okay, I'm not going to play anything down so it doesn't get discarded. Um, but they need a, an energy and a Guzma, and they've only got two Guzmas, so I'll tell they have one. So they're just thinning yet again. Um, I feel so sorry for them if, like, all these seven cards are super valuable cards, like energies and Guzmas and, like, cards they need, <laughs> you know? That, I feel, I feel really bad for them. Uh, I would feel really bad for them. Do you know what we could have done? And I've just realized we could have teched them a cargo GX with a rainbow energy and used its GX attack to discard the top five cards of their deck and we would have accelerated their own their own demise. Um, okay. So we are here again. <laughs> just going for another crushing hammer, which is Tails. Jeez, how many times you got to hit Tails, man? Okay. Okay. This is what we're going to do. We're going to smooth over Plumeria so we can guarantee it. I don't mind discarding the field blower because I'm going to resource management one back into the deck from the discard pile. That's what we're going to do. So bang, bang, and bang. There we go. That's what we're doing. So that way I'm comfortable using Plumeria next turn to discard. And then, yeah, that's okay. That's cool with me. That is perfectly fine with me. Uh, and hopefully they didn't just top deck exactly what they needed. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Because uh, setting them back once. Oh, no, they got it. Ha! Ah, but that's, that's, that's. That's tough. That's tough. That's tough. That's that's really tough. Um, huh? Oh, there they can magnet zone. They have to retreat. Haha, <laughs> you have to retreat. You gotta retreat first, buddy. Do they have all the energy to retreat and attack? I don't think so. No, they don't. Haha. <laughs> uh, in that sense, uh, we can't play Plumeria. Yikes. We have, we have to get, we have to, we have to get rid of that Mount Coronet. Like, that's critical. That's, like, critical. Um, that's really crucial. Uh, and we're gonna... We could retreat the Oranguru and go for Overclock. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna retreat the Oranguru. And we're going to overclock. So we're going to guarantee now some stuff is really going to get going here. You, yeah, we're going to overclock. We need to. I retreated into the wrong Dialga. I didn't think. I should have retreat, retreated into that one. I know. I've taken note. But we're going to overclock just to give us some more cards so we have more options. Um, that's what I want to see. That is exactly what I want to see. So we can throw some Crushing Hammers, some Plumerias. And I'm just banking on the fact that they are not top decking. Yep, they quit. Because <laughs> what they needed, they needed an energy to to uh, retreat and then attack. They needed energy and they needed Mount Coronet. And that's why I thought Mount Coronet is like the one card we need to really be careful for because if we run them out of energy, which the deck is likely to, considering it's the deck is focused on recovering its energy a lot with the Dusk main attack, then um, yeah, if we manage to, to shut down the Mount Coronet, the recovery, then the deck would just shut down because you have no energy to bring onto your Dusk mains anyway. After using it and discarding it, it just would shut down. So that's why I wanted to focus so much on the coronet. And it's it paid off. They did, unfortunately. Uh, I say unfortunately, but, you know, whenever someone does quit, I always want to play the game fully. Um, so they did, unfortunately, quit. But this is the deck. Um, obviously, don't play four Plumeria. <laughs> this is pack and match. We have to play four of it. That's the rule. So reduce the Plumeria and see what you can do. But I do have a much more consistent, I'd say, deck list of the Diago Mill deck on my channel. So you can check it out there, as I said. Um, and see a much better version of this deck. Um, but I wanted to think on my feet, and I thought, yes, let's go for Diagonal. But with that said, let me know if you did enjoy it by leaving a like, um, and uh, of course, do subscribe for more videos every day of the week. Uh, but other than that, I will leave you to it. Do take care, and peace.